And that's how Snow White was rescued by her prince, and they lived happily ever after. So what are they going to do for the rest of their lives? They're going to live happily ever after. I want to be happy, especially with all those dwarfs running around. Come on, Nathaniel. It's a fairy tale. That's just what happens. I'm tired of fairy tales, Grandpa Jake. They're all so boring. Well, I do have this other story, but it's definitely not for the weak of heart. Is it scary? It's more than that. It's a story of triumph and truth, I know, because I was there. So what happens in the story? It's a complicated tale, so I need you to listen closely. I'm sure you've heard of Team Complexity. Team Complexity? They're my favorite team in the whole world! How do you know about them? <laughs> my dear boy, I knew them very well, and I still know them today. Wow, you must be famous, Grandpa Jake. Well, that was a long time ago, but the team is stronger than ever. That's amazing. In the beginning, nobody wanted to believe. They said that it would be the end of the world before we'd ever amount to anything. They said it would be Armageddon. Hi, my name is Justin Summy, alias Sunman. I'm 20 years old. I've been playing competitively for about four years, but five years altogether. Well, I've played baseball and soccer for about six or seven years in a row. I think I get more of an energy vibe out of playing Counter-Strike professionally and winning big matches and stuff than I did when I was playing soccer and baseball. But I don't think anyone that doesn't play professionally knows knows the feeling whenever you win a big match in Counter-Strike that it's really that big. I love competition and that's what that's what it is. The competition that gets everyone going when you're playing the team that's better than you and you're the underdog and you beat them that's when it really uh, sticks out in your head. Those matches always stick with you forever. Somebody locked in here on the five members of Team X. They're going to be working up alternate middle right now between alternate middle and regular middle. I have to get boosted up in the window. Rex is working his way up into warp. He's going to go ahead and turn down uh, my in-game sounds real quick, guys. Um, 
But uh, we have a good round panning out in front of us right now. We got uh, in the middle. Oh, Trip pushing up into the window room. Takes down Ions. Titus able to get a pick there. On to Trip Storm. Fires back on to Titus. Man, he just takes down the Chanel as well. He's hitting Jamal in there. Uh, Rector's going to fire back. On to Storm. Going to be just brought here. Left at this bomb site. And we got two members of Team Zex left. The, Ze the complexities. Three. Bombs going to get planted here by Hickey. Hickey and Rector. LMS. Four Team Zex. Rector up in the apartments. Hickey going to be back by middle. Still getting flanked here by Sutman. He's going to turn the corner. Flanked by Sunman. Sunman takes it down. So we just put it. Up on the sniper deck. Rector goes down at the hands of Sunman. Wasted there. Destroyed. In our match at East WC versus Mouse Sports, uh, I was in a two-on-one versus Roman R and Neo. I planted the bomb in the lower site and I ran to the doors quickly. Once they got to the bomb, it was already starting to uh, beat pretty fast. I peeked out after I heard him defuse it because there's two guys I figured one might stay on the bomb. Roman I was defusing the bomb and Neo was shooting at me through the glass door and started shooting me through the wall and headshot me twice. And then the last guy had no time to defuse the bomb. I like to be the first into the bomb sites. I'm really a point man on this team. I like it. I like being the first one in. If I make my shot, we're going to win the round. If I miss my shot, we're probably still going to win the round because I have four great teammates behind me. Pick up exactly where the guy is and take care of him without losing any more people. professional level, each player on that team is just as dangerous as the next. I don't think we're like, okay, we killed Method, this round's over. And Ward's gonna be last man standing here for Team Complexity, coming to the library, 88 health, he's trying to spot one in hit, in, in hit, three versus one, he drops Ions, looking for another one inside the box, and there's another one, he takes him down, Titus, the last one is Rector. I would give an example, like when I used to play baseball, when the ball's hit, you have to visualize there's a player on first, you're gonna throw it to second, to get the double play and you can go first. You have to know what's going to happen. What am I going to do if the ball is hit to me? In middle area, he's gonna go ahead and fake defuse. Rector has a pick up again. Ward continues up on the sniper deck now. Rector down to 37 health. Ward at 49. Rector's about to peak. Taking a look here. Oh, Rector tries to spam him. He gets the defuse. And then we started to attack Cad. Start off slow trip, picked up a kill, and then we traded kills. I came up third, and Danny was yelling to run. So I started fading back, and I just remember a reaction shot on Drowley. Just flicked my AK towards him and hit him in the head. So I went to plant the bomb. I think it was a 3v2. So I needed a cat and was lucky enough to pick up another kill. And then SPX picked off Fraud, peeking as usual. And uh, Sunman, was me and Sunman in a 2v1, so he started to spam me. And I just came around the box and shot him on the side. It's so relieving to be in a 1v1 and win because that just you're up 6-1 in the finals match for $40,000. My role on the team is calling the team's strategies. I've played hockey, I've played baseball. I've always wanted to win whenever I played anything, even if it's a video game. Every time I call a strategy, I know in the back of my mind that I just couldn't make or break the game. Every time I call the right strategy, it just reinforces that I'm making the right decision. Got 